Peace and love, family. It's your girl, Six of Goddess. And keep in mind, I'm a goddess and I'm sensitive about my shift. Hope you are doing well. I am doing incredible. I wanted to make this video because I felt like this kind of tied into my last live stream where we were discussing, you know, polygamy and monogamy. Who is it really benefiting? You know, who who benefits from it more? What is the reason it came about? And I spoke about most modern day organizations who were still practicing polygamy. They stopped it for the number one reason of it has a negative effect on the children. OK, so throughout generations of the practice, see, we as humans get kind of like ahead of ourselves. And we think that in a few years, like in our one generation, that we have figured something out to be better than how it was at another point in time. And that's actually like the biggest possible lie and finesse that we've kind of told ourselves. You know, you have these organizations who have looked at the generational effects, not just a group of millennials deciding that they know better. Okay. And they decided, listen, this is not healthy for the children. It's just not. It's hard enough as for two parents to navigate uh, you know, a relationship and communication for children without adding on multiple scenarios. Now, you know, not a week after I did that video, uh, it comes out that Mariah Carey is being vocal that her children are being neglected by Nick Cannon because he has too many children and he's not able to pour into them. Okay. It was very bothersome for me when I saw way too many black men applauding Nick's behavior, saying he got money and he can do what he wants to do. He can afford it. And the reason why it made me sad to hear men say that is because it's the subconscious admittance and kind of the subconscious projection in a man that says that his only value is monetary. Okay. When I heard men saying that there is nothing wrong with what Nick is doing and he's grown, he don't got to worry about what none of y'all say or think about anything. He can do what he wants because he has money all on the basis of he has money. I'm like, damn, black man, that's all you good for is a paycheck. So damn the fact that he's screwed if these children have little league games on Saturday mornings. OK, so you got 12 kids in nine, 10 different households. What do you do when they're involved in extracurricular activities? It's Friday night, okay? Your sons are playing Little League, you know, junior varsity. Do you understand how important it is for kids to look out into the crowd when they're performing, whether it's sports or whatever, and to see their parents? Like, do you understand psychologically how much children need that? So even something as simple as keeping up with their extracurricular activities pretty much becomes something that you'll never be able to give them. And it really broke my heart to see a man reduce himself down to a child support payment. You cannot clap for each other and reduce each other down to money and then turn around and be upset when the women treat you that way. You have to stop treating yourselves that way. I wanted to see more men come forward and be like, nah, what Nick's doing is not it. I was disappointed to see how many brothers felt like, oh, he got the money so he could do it. So the other ironic part about this, oh, wait, I, I want to go ahead and pull up this uh, uh, article for you. So let's go ahead and look at this together. So in this article, Nick Cannon is speaking about how he feels guilty about sharing his time amongst his children. Children need their parents present. I'm sorry, but there is no, there is no like shortcut to this. Okay. It's not like he's just, because on top of this, he's clearly a busy person. He has several jobs and projects that he does. So most men who are super busy, you know, if they do have uh, extra second or two, uh, if they make, I'm not going to say if they have time, I'll say when they make time for their children, it's hard enough to make time for the children they live with. 
talking about a, a productive male with a very busy schedule. He barely had time for his kids when he lived with them. So add on the fact of a man is very busy and then has multiple children by multiple women in multiple homes in multiple locations, different cities and states. What you do is you're going to create children who are going to internalize your absence. You're creating children that when they get older are going to have to look at their mother and be like, wow, my mom was a wild and out girl that had me for a paycheck. I can't imagine the disgust of these children growing up and then finding ill. My mom was the 12th woman, my dad, raw dog, spreading all kinds of bacteria and diseases. Oh, just the thought of it. I cannot believe you hoes actually sit there and let this man run up in y'all bear or run up in y'all at all. But the bear just sends me that y'all are willing to sacrifice yourselves and your children for your own gain. But I guess that's a match made in hell that ain't shit hoes that Nick is knocking up and he is also ain't shit either. And y'all all selfish together. And, you know, it's all fun when kids are small, when they're still in diapers. You know, they haven't really peeped game yet. They haven't really seen how things are going yet. Oh, it's all fun and games then. Most kids, by the time between 18 and 25, they begin to have questions. And oh, when them kids start to come with the questions of, so what happened between you and my dad? And how did I, boy, and you have to t look at your kids in the eye and tell them that you were one of Nick Cannon's harem. You are a member of, you were a member of the women in Nick Cannon's harem and that you were his 11th baby. That y'all were never in a relationship. Boy, them kids going to suffer. We don't put enough effort into the fact that the way a child is conceived deeply affects them as a person. So these children have been conceived in selfishness and disregard. This creates kids. Mark my words. This is not me speaking bad on his kids or cursing his kids. This is me speaking the reality. These children will need full-time therapy to function. Mark my words. It's all good. They in diapers right now. They can't say anything. But boy, when them kids get older, they are going to need serious therapy to know that they were created strictly for a paycheck and some court blood. OK. So you see the article says Nick Cannon says he feels guilt about spreading his time amongst his children. Nick Cannon opened up about the reality of juggling parenthood with his personal life. Being a father of multiple kids is always the biggest guilt on me is that I don't get to spend enough time with all my children. We could just stop there. If a man truly values himself as a man, if a man truly values himself as a father, he is not going to accept his lack of presence as being okay. When a man, this is all a tale of men with low self-esteem and low self-confidence. Confident, healthy men understand their value and the value of them being there. And you can go ahead and stop at, I am self-sabotaging in a way where I am setting things up, where I literally can, phys I physically cannot be there for my children, but you keep making them. He continued, one, because I'm constantly working, and two, because I'm just spread thin. Because remember, he also is sick, allegedly with lupus, although I think it's something else. I don't, I think it, I mean, he may have that as well, but I truly think there's more to it than that, which is why I think he has given up and just does not care about going around giving his bare pee to whoever. Nobody with a negative status is going to be running around literally barebacking everybody. They're just not going to do it because if you don't have it, you don't want to get it. But for someone to go around literally completely just F it, mask off, barebacking, I truly believe he got a little bit more than just a little lupus, in my personal opinion. Okay. Um, so now, you know what I find even more funny is. When men like him promote this lifestyle, but then at the same time, stuff like this happens. Let me show you this. 
So a few days ago, Nick Cannon ended up posting some type of post on Instagram. I hate when people post pictures in the hospital. It very much so screams attention. It very much so screams, look at me. And so in the caption, so y'all see him here. He's in the hospital with his, with his turban on, okay? But I want you to listen to what you hear in this that should be kind of a, you know, make your, your spotty senses kind of go off. He says, crazy thing is, last night we was just rocking a sold out crowd at Madison Square Garden in front of thousands of fans. Now I'm all alone in a tiny hospital room. Life is definitely a roller coaster. Hashtag lupus warrior. In 2012, Cannon revealed he was suffering. He was suffering from the autoimmune disease. I'd be willing to bet that ain't the only autoimmune disease that he is battling because you are dealing with disgusting bottom of the barrel women who clearly will let any man do anything inside them anyway. Okay. The fact that they're willing to start a family with you and have your children knowing what it is, you know, knowing the status, this tells me I'm pretty sure these women have not asked you for a single piece of paperwork before they let you all in them bear. So what that tells me, Russian roulette, you playing it like that, I'm sorry, but there ain't no way, all right? So freaking disgusting. Women will literally risk their lives to do this as opposed to getting a husband to provide for them, as opposed to finding a way for themselves to be financially independent. You know, it really speaks to them as women when their solution for, you know, financial stability is to let these men raw peen you and impregnate you. Like my brain, yeah, that y'all be grown. Y'all be in y'all late twenties, thirties. It's just absolutely unbelievable. So now Mariah Carey is speaking out and we're going to look at what she says. The article reads, Mariah Carey wants Nick Cannon. Uh, Mariah Carey thinks Nick Cannon isn't spending enough time with their twins as comedian preps for baby number 12. Mariah, I just want to say, honey, I know you are so embarrassed. Okay. I don't lump Mariah in the category with the rest of these hoes because Mariah was married to him. It was an actual relationship, but that still doesn't help anything, Mariah. I know that if there is probably one thing you could go back in your life and do, it would be to change who your kid's father is. I'm sure you love your children and would not want them to be anything outside of what they are. And God bless that. But I know, girl, deep down in your heart, I know you wish that you never did that. I'm embarrassed for you, ma'am. Now she has to sit in comfort. That's the part that the men don't see. You don't see the part where Mariah is going to have to sit and like comfort her children of why daddy is not at your basketball game because he's at his 12th child's birthing. You know? And that's the part nobody sees. All they see is, ooh, Nick Cannon got all these baby mamas. Y'all could give a damn less about them kids, for real. All Mariah Carey wants this Christmas is for ex-husband Nick Cannon to be a doting dad. The spouse's co-parent, 11-year-old twins, Moroccan and Monroe. But since the comedian is also a father to nine other children, he has to divide up his schedule. The predicament has caused the Grammy-winning songstress, 52, to ask Cannon, 42, to carve out more time with their tots. Child, I know what I need more time for. I need more time to take a little sip of my alpha juice, honey. That just gave me a headache, baby. I just need like two seconds. For those of you that don't know, I've been juicing. Okay, thank God, because I need this that has nutrients to help my brain for when I'm doing work like this and it's making my brain want to explode. Okay, I appreciate alpha juice. Alpha juice is going to help hydrate your body, relieve your body of mucus, aid in energy for the gym. I use mine as a pre-workout in the morning. It's going to help curb your appetite. It's going to help balance your pH. Listen, this is literally organic fruits and vegetables bottled up, ready to go. Okay. I did an unboxing video of it earlier. 
you're going to save you a few dollars by using my code six god to get y'all five dollars off because right about now honey do not be needing a little alpha juice honey i'm stressed you know so what i'm hoping is this what nick is gonna have to do he's gonna have to have all his kids come live with him okay what needs to happen here goes the solution the solution is you ladies need to give your children to him okay because none of you hoes are fit to be nobody's mom because y'all ain't shit every single last one of y'all except mariah carey okay and the farther back in the baby mamas the the ones after the double digits y'all are past ain't shit hoes i don't know what y'all are y'all are just you're bottom of the barrel what y'all need to do is give them kids up to nick and let all of them live with him okay period that's what y'all need to do that way they can at least have a relationship as siblings um that way he can see them and they'll all be in one spot then y'all can come once or twice a week and come pick them up and take them for ice cream and drop them back off that will help nick cannon from going broke from child support because i'm telling y'all now y'all be talking about nick cannon got money nick cannon got money paying 12 different children and 10 different women in different households is a guaranteed way to go broke nick is not old money he knew money he first generation money okay first generation money you get it fast and you lose it fast so this is y'all only way number one nick get a vasectomy don't have any more kids for the love of god number two get all your kids have your kids live with you hire you a nanny or something to help out you need to have them kids in the house with you all 12 of them that will save you from having to pay child support to 12 different households and going broke within 10 years. Y'all hoes need to go to therapy and figure out why your self esteem as a woman is so low that you can sit here and share bare peen with the entire wild and out girls crew. Y'all need y'all a little broken. Y'all need to figure this out that you're okay. Um, y'all need to get some alpha juice because I know for a fact y'all pH balance is messed up. Because y'all are over there with all kind of bacterial infections and STDs. Y'all definitely need some alpha juice. Because Nick already told us that all y'all coochie stink. We actually heard it from him. So um, y'all coochie stink because you're sharing, you know, juices with different women. Um, y'all got STDs. So get you some alpha juice and an antibiotic. Okay. And start to clean that thing out. Detox. Okay. Y'all need to go ahead and get y'all alpha juice. Six guy, five dollars off, which I need to do. Okay, Nick, stop having kids. Y'all, we have got to stop reducing men down to a paycheck. Nothing, nothing replaces the presence of a man in the home, y'all. Let's just please understand that. We have got to stop reducing ourselves down to things so small. All right. Y'all, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment with your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think, yeah? It's Nick's business. He can do what he want. Do you feel like we should be considering, you know, how it is affecting the children? How do you think this will look 10 years from now? Is this sustainable? Let me know your thoughts. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all on the next one.